We now have, I think, 500 chairs coming. There's only 400 kids in our school. I'm Larissa Kovacs. I teach 7th and 8th grade art in Oklahoma. I got frustrated with the chairs in my classroom. They have uh, broken bottoms. Um, we call them cheek pinchers. My kids compete to see who can get there first so they don't have to have a cheek, cheek pincher. And if they're not pinching your cheeks, they are stabbing you because the tops are jagged. So I made a post saying, yes, we make very little, but there's more to it. My expectation was a couple of family members would like it. Maybe my mom would share it. Um, but it's completely blown up. As it was going viral, uh, several people asked me if they could donate things. Oh, it's so exciting. We got the first shipment and it was 413 boxes. I'm very excited to share with our district uh, the chairs, the supplies that we're getting. It's overwhelming the amount of things that people are willing to give to us. Just imagine having a class of 32 children and you're trying to teach a lesson. If half of them are incredibly uncomfortable, they're not ready to learn. They're not, they're not going to learn anything. People didn't know that that's how it was. I've brought in chairs from my house. I also have a couch in my classroom. One of my classes, when all the kids are there, two kids have to sit on the couch because there's just not enough chairs. This is what your children have to deal with on a daily basis. One of the biggest misconceptions about this walkout is that we are only doing this for a teacher pay raise. But that's, there's so much more to it than just the pay raise. We are asking for funding of general education. I know I'm not the only one when I say I'd still be doing this if a raise wasn't in question. It's about what we need for our kids. These kids are suffering and they're not given the proper learning environment. They're going to grow up and they're going to run this place. And we should make sure that they're successful people.